Guys, thank you so much for coming in here to see me at Body by Design. Okay, this is treating menopause, or at least a uh, good breakdown. I'll do much more later on in videos. So, we know that we're coming to the point we're in transition, and this is the part where your monthly cycle stop. So this means it's when your ovaries slow down and you're no longer producing estrogen the way you used to, okay? Your cycles have stopped altogether. Um, now, either your monthly occurrence of like a hormonal peak where you might get um, a little bit more PMS may happen for some or may completely go away for others. It's really, really hard to say. Um, the thing we can say for sure is that people that are healthy and got healthy beforehand or at least in the transition phase had a much easier time with uh, the final transition. So with the lack of estrogen that we're having in the body now, we have to understand how important estrogen is to your health, especially women's health. It's like the opposite of men where testosterone is really you know, what we need to be worried about the most. And what comes in your body from not having enough estrogen is the understanding of what other hormonal functions it protects. I mean, it's even there to help your bones, for to protect them and to help them grow and things. You know what I mean? So other health risk factors that happen, especially after your transitions and you've stopped having your cycles, and if you're still not a healthy person and your estrogen is low, you're opening yourself up for cardiovascular disease, heart disease, hypertension, you know, high blood pressure, arthroporosis, strokes. These things go through the roof. I can't even begin to explain to you how they go through the roof. The depression goes through the roof, the anxiety, like it will not get any better or any easier. So if you've waited this long and you still haven't done anything, you need to get up and go do something right now. It's going to be painful at this point because you've waited a really long time and I have an understanding for this and I feel for you. Believe me. Start every day. Make it routine. Get up and move. Buy healthier food. You want to prolong your life and live life into your 70s and 80s and be healthy and vibrant and happy? Get healthy. Get some really good hobbies at this point. Go do something, volunteer somewhere, give back to the community, you know, get closer with your friends and family, really learn to live life. Let's start to live our lives, okay? You don't have to be scared anymore, you don't have to be worried anymore, we're being educated at the point right now, so we're able to really look at ourselves and see what's going on. And we have to get truthful with ourselves. If you're not happy, something needs to change. I mean, that's that's a rule of thumb for anybody, all right? And I mean, I'm a prime example of this. You really just got to go get it. You got to replace those bad habits with good habits. Just like you got to replace those negative thoughts, those depressive thoughts, with happy thoughts. Thoughts you really know that you should be thinking and then all of a sudden it becomes a pattern and you don't think those negative thoughts anymore or those anxieties about going to work out. You start looking forward to it because it's time either with your trainer to have some one-on-one, -on -one, some you time or it's time to be by yourself and have some you time. You know, don't cut this out of your life and if it's not a part of your life, make it a part. At first, it's hard. Okay, you can ask every one of my clients, the first two weeks are the toughest, and then after that, you can't live without it. You really notice the difference, okay, guys? Again, this is Josh from Body by Design. It's never too late to live the life you could have lived. Thank you so much again for coming in here to see me. I hope to see you again soon.